Hey everyone, it's Daniel here from InfraVest. Hope you're all doing well. So, very interesting article here. I'm going to talk about it real quick with you. It says, bankruptcy filing skyrocket as economists warns of further defaults. So the default rates are rising. They continue to rise at record high levels, especially when you get the US Federal Reserve continuing to hike rates and hike rates and hike rates. So let me go through this article here. I'll leave it in the description for you to read up on it. But it basically says, bankruptcy filings in the US have surged as rising interest rates, a high debt burden and a stubborn inflation pummeled the corporate sector and experts are predicting an increase in companies defaulting on debt repayments. Again, right? there's gotta be some sort of event, some sort of effect. Right now, it's a it, you know we tend to see this rates and the and the effects of rates tend to be lagging. We tend to see it later on the effects of it. Right, we have yet to see the effects of also five percent interest rates on the economy. But you're starting to see more of the sounds of bankruptcies and defaults happening in the economy. So here it says. Chapter 11 bankruptcy filing soared by 68% in the US in the first half of the year compared to 2022, according to data shared by um, Equip, EPIC bankruptcy. Probably said that wrong. But a provider of US bankruptcy filing data on Monday. Recent data from S&P Global Market Intelligence show that the number of US companies that have gone bankrupt between January and May is higher than in the first five months of any year since 2010. So you can see the level of bankruptcies, right? You heard about the Silicon Valley. You also heard other companies out there as, as well, like Bed Bath Beyond, right? All feeling the pinch of higher debt payments. And that's what's expected when you get higher rates. Now, at the same time, you're still seeing the economy is still kind of normal, right? And you still people, you still see people spending money, going to concerts, booking hotels, flying and whatnot, and, and going on vacations, right? One argument you can make is that the amount of money printing and pumping that has been done in 2020, 2021, that's still having lasting effects. So if that's still having lasting effects, and this is expected to be kind of a long, uh, ride until something breaks, then that would mean that rates would have to be higher for longer for some time because the economy can handle it. And if that's the case, then the bankruptcy filings, the defaults that are already rising to higher levels, you can expect in the next year or so to rise even further, especially in 2024. Especially when a lot of loans and mortgages and rates are expected to come for renewal by the end of 2024, the start of 2025. So if rates are still high up there and people are comfortable with rates, low rates, they have been for a very long time, especially during COVID time, if that automatically already changes and you now have to renew at a higher, a higher rate, plus already with all your all the higher food grocery prices, the shelter and whatnot, then that's definitely going to create more defaults and some sort of event out there, right? And this is not just corporations, but individuals also. And if individuals start to feel the pinch as well, then that could mean more spending, less, sorry, less spending. If less spending, then that would mean that less corporate profits, less corporate profits because you got less revenue coming in, you got higher rates, which it does affect the valuations of these stocks and these companies. And then higher rates mean also higher debt payments, which could put some companies out there or a lot of companies out there under a situation where they miss their payments, which could then lead to the default scenario. And if a lot of them starts to default, then guess what? That eventually should trickle into not only the CPI report, but the jobs report that continues to be strong and resilient. And then that's when you might see finally the unemployment rate start to tick up. And when that happens, 
that's when you tend to see the recession finally come in. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below, subscribe, hit the like button, bell icon to be notified on the next video. It's very interesting. We should continue to monitor these bankruptcy filings and see if they get worse off or not. See you guys. Cheers. Bye.